Hey, what's going on you guys? My name is Rage and we are back today with Marvel Strike Force's newest character here in Iron Patriot, joining the Cabal team with fellow Namor as well, leader uh, likely to follow after his inclusion here. But this is going to be a top tier uh, Cosmic Crucible offense team, guys. They're going to be making other villain, excuse me, villain characters very powerful, especially the additional damage, armor, as well as HP boost. It's making, you know, uh, relevant villain characters once again. So I do love that theory crafting aspect. But in today's video, we're going to be breaking down Iron Patriot's kit. We're going to be taking a look at the preempt T4 recommendations of what he's going to be bringing to the table. And as well, taking advantage of the Red Star Orbs where we do get that promoted 15% boost. So obviously, this is going to be an opportunity to take advantage of that. Um, other than that, we don't really see what kind of additional information is going to be coming in terms of how he's going to get released. But once that information circulates, guys, I'll keep you up to date. But for the time being, let's take a look at his kit um, as well as the Red Star Orbs. And even take a look at what potentially he could be... Uh, bringing to the table here in terms of an ISO 8. So always, always, always double check that his icon, his avatar is showing in the Red Star Orbs because you can see here it does have the 7 red, which means there's a chance to get that. But uh, if you guys have been following my previous videos, uh, we don't even use the lower ones anymore. We just go straight uh, for the 7 red because this is an opportunity now where the economy of the game, there's just so many reds going around. And honestly, if you land another 7 red here, it's going to give you a chance to actually re-roll again. So we do see the 15% here under the eye for additional details. So we are good to go. Let's get this party started. Yeah, so always, you know, continually just building our roster. As you can see with the duplicates, they just give us another chance to re-roll here. That's really where you want your roster uh, level at this point, right? And at this point, it's just getting the right character that we haven't had a chance to. Oh, my goodness. There you go. Seven red, Iron Patriot. This is the way uh, to actually pull the unlocks here, especially getting that boosted promo. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so we go now to where Iron Patriot slotted. Oh, I may actually have saved them at the very top. Let's take a look. Yeah, there he is. Okay. So starting off with his basic ability, which is Patriotic Fury, he's going to be attacking primary and adjacent targets for percentage damage. As this ability gets leveled up, he's going to be applying defense down, which is great for increasing that offensive output. But as well, um, he's actually going to be performing a nice weight attack where he can actually counterattack or assist. I do like how they've added this verbiage now, which is nice because he clears immunity on those ice weight attacks and as well as defense down and the heal block is actually getting applied as well. Disruption getting added and um, slow with the t4 this is pretty notable the heal block disruption slow lasting for two full turns including the defense down so this is looking like a very strong t4 upgrade here actually even for a basic ability good to know his special stars and strikes attacking all enemies for 120 percent piercing damage as well as the opportunity here to clear positive effects from the enemies that he's hitting and once again that devastating defense down increasing his offensive output now what i do like about this ability is that there is additional focus getting added so leveling this ability up he's gonna be adding more vulnerables uh which kind of gives us a sense of what ice weight he can potentially be uh what i like about this is that you can even slot him in as a striker and then he's gonna be able to leverage the vulnerabilities already applying from his his in inherent ability here he's gonna be clearing positive effects additional piercing crucible this is gonna be the big one where he's applying trauma to all enemies actually impacted so that's very notable level six giving that trauma for two full turns and then finally the t4 that allows all positive effects to actually get stripped making this a very devastating special ability to take advantage of so very strong t4 there as well guys this is looking very very good iron patriots uh his he's gonna be bringing a lot of damage to the team uh, ultimate ability proton cannon so he's gonna be flipping deflex and minor deflex on the primary and adjacent targets uh, i do see that there's gonna be a lot of value to be had for this team even in war and as well having a notable stun here so this attack cannot be dodged he's gonna be once again applying vulnerability up to a maximum of five times um there's heal block there's defense down and bleeds actually getting impacted at level six and finally with the t4 it's a plus two vulnerable up to a maximum of five times so lasting for two full turns uh, this is looking like such a dangerous character here. And like I said, I love the fact that he inherently has these vulnerables, which means he can take advantage of this actually using, um, you know, he can add more Raider or the Striker can actually be a very good component of him because he can be double dipping with those strikes. And then finally, guys, Iron Osborne is the strong notable passive here. He's going to be gaining assist on each Cabal ally turn. So uh, granting assist now, they're going to be getting a lot of attacks going in and out. 
enemies with vulnerable also take an additional 10 percent per vulnerable so obviously having any kind of isolate that can apply that with the special and the ultimate is going to be applying that across the board uh, where he gets a lot of bonuses is going to be coming from crucible though so he inherently already gains a raw 50 percent damage but in crucible villain allies now officially also gain additional focus and damage uh so the, he's gonna be bringing you know honestly the, all the offensive output for some of these uh revigorated villains that are coming back into the game right crucible when there's two or more cabal allies he's also gaining additional accuracy and once again uh, the villain crits are going to be applying plus one vulnerables to all enemies across the board and additional focus once again getting grafted with the t4 here in crucible two or more cabal allies enemy characters with vulnerable cannot fill up their speed bar for themselves uh, very very important to know here guys this is what's going to make them such a dangerously scary team is that they cannot actually fill it up which means um the normal means is pretty much the only way that they're going to be getting that right and as well also not being able to gain stealth so he's going to be that difference maker with that three piece combined with the villains that makes this such a dangerous team to go up against and i like the fact that it doesn't have to be an offense you can use this on defense as well um for that reason guys i think each and every one of these abilities um, especially the passive right if you guys are not planning to take this team up in the crucible i would stop here at level four for the passive but the ultimate here uh, applying additional vulnerable the special here uh, applying the clearing of all positive effects this one's probably the one that can you know if you want you want to save a little bit of resources i would probably hold off on the special but i think the basic is a really good one to add here as well because of the amount of debuffs that we're getting applied so basic ultimate and passives all notable but the passive really being the big one for crucible if you guys are not planning to take this character up and you're just trying to save for that reason guys i think um he can be slotted in as two different potential roles here his because his special and his ultimate's already applying vulnerable um you could just honestly put him in as a striker so that way he's gonna be leveraging off of those ab abilities getting the additional strikes applying the debuffs with his basic i can also see him being a very powerful raider because he's getting good piercing already so the raider is gonna obviously add that additional output uh for his burst damage but what's really notable guys and i did want to do a separate analysis video as well is that um he's gonna be the difference maker here for some of the key villain characters that have fallen off the meta right um characters maybe like kang if you're not planning to use masters of evil uh characters i've noted uh dr doom is actually going to be one of the best characters once again in the game with all the different cabal updates so that was intentional by design because i do think that they put some thought uh, obviously in, in into thinking about that og cabal team i think emma frost being a strong noble villain where she's not really used um you know in her marauders team synergy now can be slotted back into here with the cleanse right so i think these are some very very notable character additions but i will be making a separate video on that for the analysis side anyways but yeah iron patriot looking awesome guys hopefully his events can be free to play friendlies for us to maximize good luck with your guys rest our orbs and i hope this analysis helped you guys in your review as well as your investment thank you for your time as always and i'll catch you guys in the next one